uh, now we'll talk about the five takeaways from the charting exercises and uh, training. Okay, so first, what is considered part of the patient chart? This is pretty much everything. Okay, photos, x-rays, perio measurements, phone conversations, conversations in the operatory, treatment plans, and treatment rendered. Number two, what is commonly missed? Phone conversations, adequate health history, a diagnosis for treatment rendered, a reason for a prescription, an accurate description of what happened in the appointment. We need to record the good, the bad, and the ugly. Why do we keep records? That's number three. Documentation of what happened, continuity of care, safety for the patient, PDE, it helps with billing and insurance, and you all know I won't survive in prison. Number four, how do we make an adequate chart note? We need to tell the story of what happened in the order that it happened. Another provider should be able to read the note and know exactly what happened. Have an open dialogue with the other providers in the operatory about what you see and about what they see in order to get all the information in a timely manner. Don't wait till the end. Don't rely on the auto note to provide everything that you need. Be doing something. Don't just sit there and admire my mustache. This is number five. How do we know a chart note is complete? Chart notes should be signed with your name or initials at the bottom of the note. This is your stamp of approval. So write a note that you are proud to put your name on. Ha <laughs> ha